If you're at all serious about using AI to create podcasts, then unfortunately you need to stop using Notebook LM and start using the process I'm going to show you today. Don't get me wrong, Notebook LM is an amazing tool when it comes to analyzing lots of text and its podcast feature can be super helpful to get an overview of all the sources that you upload. But if you're looking to share those podcasts with anyone, you're going to need more control over them. Frankly, you're going to need a lot more control. And that's what this video is all about. With this method, you'll be able to make your podcast as long or as short as you like down to the second. You'll also be able to choose between tons of different voices and over 32 different languages. Doing it this way will make sure that important details like names of people and businesses are not anonymized the way they are in Notebook LM. And most importantly, you'll be able to make sure that you're getting through exactly what you want to cover in your podcast. I'm jumping right into the cheat sheet that I made for this video. This is basically an AI podcast masterclass. There's a link to this in the description. It's available to anybody who supports me on Patreon. Patreon. The part I want to show you first here is figuring out how long the podcast should be. So this podcast length guide, I know a lot of people struggle with not getting the Notebook LM podcast to be long enough or short enough. I've gotten tons of comments about that. And here's what we do about that. First of all, decide how long you want your podcast to be. And you can look at these different uh, types of podcasts and figure out roughly how long yours should be. Then we're going to jump over to ChatGP. You can also use Claude for this, but I wouldn't use any other models. Either ChatGPT or Claude would be the only two I would trust with this process. The one that I like to use the most these days for this particular process is the O1 or the O1 Pro, if you have access to that. A little known fact about the O1 is that you can get it to return very long results. People talk a lot about the reasoning of this model, which is awesome, but the fact that you can get it to generate lots of text is also very very, very uh, interesting and useful, as you'll see here in a second. Now, I want to create a podcast that's around 25 or 30 minutes, and I want it to be all about first principles. I hear a lot about first principles. I understand it on a basic level, but I want to really understand it on a deep level. So this is a basic prompt that I've used. I'm going to show you a couple other examples in a second, but I've basically asked it to write a 4,000-word essay on this particular topic. And it only had to think for about five seconds before cranking out this beautiful Beautiful essay that is 4,000 words that could be quickly and easily turned into a podcast. So we're just going to copy and paste this beautiful essay into Eleven Labs. And if you're unfamiliar with Eleven Labs, it's the world leading text to voice model out there. So there is no better way to convert text to voice than Eleven Labs currently. And over here on the left, there's all different options here for Eleven Labs. I'm not going to do a deep dive into Eleven Labs. I can do that if you'd like just shoot me a comment there and let me know. Uh, basically, this text-to-speech right here will allow you to do about 5,000 characters. Now, that's not long enough for a legitimate podcast. We need to go down here to the projects workflow and create a new project starting from scratch. You can see they have this create a podcast feature, which is a lot like Notebook LM. They're trying to do the same thing there. You've got these other options as well, but I like to just start from scratch here. You can pick whatever model you like. Like I mentioned, there are 32 different languages now supported with more coming online all the time. Standard quality has been good for me. Click create, and we're just gonna copy in that entire transcript. And now all we gotta do is go through and generate. And when you click play here, it'll start generating First this section. First principles reasoning has its roots deep in the intellectual traditions of philosophy, mathematics, and the natural sciences. There it is. You can go through the same way, generating each section here. You can pick the different voices. There are tons of different voices here. The one you just heard was Rachel. I like that one quite a lot. And then when you're done and this all sounds good, you click convert. But you want to be careful because like any large language model, things can go off the rails here in Eleven Labs. Let me show you. So when I listened back to this, everything was pretty good up until about, you know, 20 minutes in or so. And then it started to really freak out. So I don't know if you've ever heard a text-to-voice model freak out, but check this out. Ultimately, first principles reads Andre B. So so far, wow. 
uh, that nothing is inevitably fixed by tradition or analogy. So Everything there you go. Really That's what it sounds like when you push 11 labs pretty hard. It's not a problem. All you got to do is make sure you listen to it all the way through, obviously, before you finalize it and convert it. And when you find those weird sections, sometimes it'll go into sounding like another language like you heard there. And then even that little singing, I've only heard it do that once, but that is pretty hilarious. So I hope you got as much of a kick out of that as I got. All you need to do when you find those uh, sections is just click regenerate here, and then it's going to focus some extra power onto this section. Ultimately, first principles reasoning helps us remember that nothing is inevitably fixed by and tradition. And there you go. Much better. We've solved that problem right there. So once you've fixed all those weird freakouts, and really there shouldn't be that many, there was only a couple there in that entire 30-minute podcast. Once you regenerate those, you can then convert the project and download it and then upload it into the podcast distributor of your choice. And if you don't know how to do that, I'm going to give you some information on that at the end of the video. So that's just the quick start overview of this method, but there are a ton of ways you can customize this and have maximum control over your podcast that you really can't achieve inside Notebook LM. And a lot of that comes down to just good old fashioned editing. And I've done a couple videos on how to use AI to edit your pieces. I'm going to put some links to those in the description. The basic gist is this. I ran a content marketing agency for over 10 years, and over that time, we developed this process for editing where we go through a developmental review, structural review, section-by-section -section review, and error review. And that's what you want to do with your transcripts to make sure they are illustrating all of the different facts that you want to share with your audience. Here's a few prompts around those. You know, the first prompt in the developmental review is looking at the overarching theme or idea. You'll notice that these start from a very wide place and get more and more narrow as we go along. You don't want to work on fixing a bunch of errors just to figure out that your entire overarching theme or idea needs work. So we start with just looking at that overarching theme or idea. Then we get into, you know, the structural review. Is there a better way to organize it? Then section by section, we look at different ways we can improve each section. And then finally, the error review. So that is something you'd want to do here in ChatGPT. You can use the Canvas feature. could be really helpful for those edits. Again, I've got a video for that in the description. But you want to work through it and really massage, make sure that this transcript is absolutely perfect. Here are some other prompts for generating that transcript. This is a simple one where you just give it the topic and the length in minutes or words. You then can define the tone, etc. Here's another one if you want the multiple speaker option like they have in Notebook LM. That takes a little bit more work, but you can definitely pull it off here by asking ChatGPT to create this transcript with two different speakers going back and forth. You can even customize it here by making them have a, a debate or joke around a little bit to mimic some of the things that uh, happen naturally in Notebook LM. And this way you can have complete control around, you know, the level of sarcasm the level of humor in there. Maybe you want something very dry and factual. Maybe you want something a little more spicy. You can get that all done using these types of prompts. But in order to edit that together inside of 11 labs, you'd have to create one speaker and then the other speaker and then edit those two together. So it might be a little bit tricky. At the end of the video, I want to point you to some resources that will help you do those types of edits really quickly and easily. But now you're probably asking yourself, wait a minute, what about all the beautiful sources that I load into Notebook LM? How do I access those in this new method. And truth be told, if they're short enough, you can just load them right into ChatGPT01. This can handle quite a lot of information, especially if it's just, you know, shorter reports or information from websites. But if you get into really long reports and books, etc., then you might want to just upload the notes that you create in Notebook LM. And therefore, you're really going to be using the strength of Notebook LM. Uh, and what it was really meant for is this research tool. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I have this electronic music notebook here, and I've got a bunch of different pinned notes. Remember, you can pin any note as you're chatting back and forth with it here. You can pin any note just with this little pin button, and they will show up over here. You can then grab these and easily copy these into uh, ChatGPT and use them 
to create your podcast transcripts. That way you're getting the best of both worlds. So doing your analysis inside of Notebook LM, that's really what that tool is built for. And then using ChatGPT or Claude to create the transcript and then using Eleven Labs to convert that text to voice, which is what it shines at. So by chaining these tools together, you're gonna be able to create a 10 times better podcast than you would ever be able to create just by prompting inside of Notebook LM. Again, this cheat sheet walks you through every step. I really went to town on this thing from figuring out your concept and your target audience, uh, figuring out your format, structure, content, calendar. Everything you need is right in here, all the prompts, etc. There's even a link to a custom GPT that automates all this. So if you're getting something out of these videos, make sure to check out Patreon. Get in there, grab this cheat sheet, and start playing around with that custom GPT and start making some awesome podcasts. And the next step is to start to get those podcasts into the world. So here is a video that shows you how to quickly and easily edit those into videos and upload them into Spotify and other different places where people listen to podcasts. So go ahead and click on that video. I will see you over there. Make your dreams come true.